All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Monday. Monday. I was like, what the fuck is today? Today is Monday. We're playing our Magician Girls. Uh, I changed the deck a little bit around. I went with more of like a card and demise variant because I wanted to see if Magician Girls could do that. Uh, and if it doesn't work, you know, I'm actually going to switch it because uh, we've been doing card and demise variants with, um, with, uh, with Tramids, but then not Magician Girls, I'm gonna switch it, I'm gonna switch it for this week, why not? We at least still got plenty of time, you know? Like I said, these decks are gonna be here until the beginning of November. So, there's plenty of time to go ahead and experiment, try things out, see how everything goes. This hand is hella number generated, I must say. Hopefully I get a couple of monsters, I'm gonna be pitching a lot of background. Nope, I'm gonna be pitching a lot of background, awesome. But you know what, even then it's still nice, because even if I say one, it's still like a graceful charity, you know? <laughs> now this man's gonna blow me away with all his back rows. So I pretty much just gotta stall out, get me, get my magician girls, and then start going in. It's pretty much what you do with this deck. Uh, we got a title back to the drawing board. Uh, I did not have the greatest experience at my uh, past regionals, so uh, you're just gonna go off. I'm assuming. I'm assuming you're just gonna go, you know, summon, 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 go with a whole bunch of these sentries. And in that case, I got drowning. So I'm gonna blow your fucking nipples back. You know. So, even if I just get these two, I'm plussing, so that's nice. So, you can just go ahead and go back to the deck. Like, get out of my face. Drowning's so good, quaking so good. Like, these like these Mirror Forces just starting to step it up. Like, it used to be like Mirror Forces not that great. Now it's like, holy shit. You know? I've been playing a pod of Dwali. So, I remember telling you guys that I went with something crazy for my deck. Wow, well, I don't have it like any monsters, so I guess there's really po no point in grabbing that. Uh, I guess I'll just grab another Drowning. Like, there's no point. I'm hoping to see some monsters. Monster count's not too great. And uh, the deck that I went with, I'm not going to give you guys a deck profile or anything like that because I'm planning on tweaking it and then taking it to Utah Regionals. So, there's another Utah Regionals in November. The problem is ABCs will be out by then, so i got to plan accordingly for that. But uh, uh, with that, I'm, I did... Okay, okay. I Like usual, like usual, I ate a fat dick at the fucking last second, so that kind of pissed me off, but... Uh, are you gonna like additionally summon anything else or are you just gonna keep it one? You're just gonna keep it one. You you think that you're cute. You think that, oh, he won't take the neck on that one. And you know what? You're right. You're right. I will not take the neck on that one. I will take your 18, sir. Because you know what? You're gonna go back to their hand and now I know that you're not planning on summoning multiple monsters. So I'm just gonna bottom of you next time. Now, this time I thought you were gonna overextend a little bit more summon multiple comments, even though you know that I have uh, Drowning. You know that I have it. But you thought that you would get away. You're like, ha ha, I see I just summoned one and poke him with only one. Wow. And then Magician, the girl that I actually get is Dark Magician Girl who I can't even summon. Like, awesome. Awesome. That's fine. You know? You know, I'll just take it slow. But, uh, I did, I just ate a fat dick at the last second. You guys already know that's how it gets done. I always eat the fattest of dicks at the last second. So I'm kind of wondering if you want to, like, get an additional normal summon? It's activating its effect. Okay. If it's activating its effect to get the additional normal summon, I could fuck you up with the Mirror Force, you know? But if you're just going to keep it as one, like, that's what I probably should have read last time, is if he's going to go with additional summons. So you're just going to run into my Quake, my Drowning again? Like, as long as I can get two out of Drowning, it's just so good, you know? It's just so good. I'm running two Drownings in here, so. Uh, still trying to figure out the ratio. Uh, the only thing I can give you is that the deck that I did run was a Cardamize, and yeah, we were running OG, we were running Quaking, OG Mirror Frost, and, and Drowning, like, you know, like, I, I don't want you to play Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, really, I would just like a Magician Girl, like, all I need is a Magician Girl, I can start getting it in, because I'm controlling the duel, but I need monsters, you know, like, just, uh, we're running, who the fuck are you, oh, it's Juin Oh, Juin and this guy, he, he negates a trap? Ram, Ram negates traps. Yeah, so if I allow him to XC and do all that shit, then... I mean, there's no, there's really no threat. I could probably just wait for him to go into the extra deck and then warning his ass. Oh, so it's... You send you join Shishi. Okay. I really didn't see that coming. I'll tell you what. Alright, so pop that join Shishi. Summon another join Shishi. I'll just bottom this him. But there's no reason for me to allow you to keep, you know... Throw a blade, but you slap shit on top of him. You know, I'm, just, I'm just gonna sit here and control the duel. Yeah, there we go. Finally got a magician girl. Let's go. Let's go. That's really all I needed was just a monster. See, I ran the card of the Mize deck at the, at the regionals, and I felt like my ratio was off that I didn't have enough monsters. 
uh, we're gonna get Choco. Choco is like the best one in here, you know? So, Barry can summon from my hand, right? Uh, no, I summon from the deck. I summon from the deck. Oh, what? And then you attack the monster summon from the deck instead. Um, I went, I went four, three, and one. You know, I, I was doing, I, I was at my last round, round eight, and all I needed to do was win, but my deck crapped out on me because I didn't draw any monsters. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out these cardinalized decks, you know, and trying to get the ratio right, the monster ratio right. And I just, it just crapped out on me. It really did. Just, I didn't draw any monsters. I needed a monster and uh, it just faced AF that deck. Uh, I guess I can tell you what I faced, but I really can't go into too much detail about the deck, the, you know, stuff like that, because, you know, but I, 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 I guess I can tell you, but I'm not going to do the deck profile, all right? Uh, what I went with was uh, Magic Spectre Stun the Mice, all right? Because you guys already know I do something crazy. So uh, I took my friend, uh, he's Magic Spectre deck. You already know, you saw the deck profile. I got 13th place at the last Utah Regional. Took his deck, but then I wanted to add my own flair. So I throw in the Wind Barrier statues, and then I threw in Moon Mirror Shield. So. You know, plus barrier statue, ban, you can't spell someone, and you can never attack over me with 100 higher. And cook to a magic specter, I can't be destroyed by card effects, I can't be targeted, and I'm always gonna be stronger by battle. Which is magic specter's weakness, you know? They get killed by battle. But with Moon Mirror Shield, whoo, I'm strong, you know? So, the Moon Mirror Shield put in so much fucking work. It was, it was fantastic. Uh, I just didn't see enough monsters. I played about 15 monsters? No, 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 14 monsters. 14 monsters, and. I just, you know, when I wanted to see monsters, I didn't. When I needed to see magic specters, I didn't. And, you know, it's just, ugh. You know, I was having a hard time at some duels. Um, round one, I faced heroes. I faced heroes. And it was it was the Las Vegas Originals in town. Awesome. Uh, not too many people showed up. Like, Utah is literally, like, in the middle of nowhere. It's, like, totally like really Utah. Not even, like, the most major city in Utah. Not even, like, Salt, Salt Lake. Uh... And a random locals, you know, just a random locals, and they got like 200 plus. We are in Las Vegas, you know, one of the best, you know, most famous uh, cities in the entire country, and a nice center, you know, we got like 150. Like, it seems like the Las Vegas is just known for having assholes and jerks that no one really wants to come. Like, we got like some of the judges and people from Utah, a couple from Arizona, but not a lot, not a lot of people from Cali, just a lot of locals. So I think out of the eight rounds that I faced, six of them were locals, it's the local people. So round one I face against heroes, uh, I two owe him. Uh, you know, I just lock him out of I lock him out of special. I equip my some of my magic specter, equip him with a moon mirror shield, and I just tack over his dark wall and fuck up his displays. Like he just got the dick, you know, he got destroyed. Game two, he goes first. I slide in my uh, dark holes and my but two dark holes in my regaki. He goes, he goes off with his dark wall or or whatever regaki. You know, get blown back, done. You know, two zero. Um, game t match two, I face against Mermel. I get game one. I get game one. Game two, I he allows me to go first because it's water, you know. I slide in my prohibitions because I think it's a great side card. Once I read you and you know I can already just call what your out is to my play. I opened up so fantastically. I summoned a magic specter, got my surf, moon mirror show, can't tack over me, prohibition, twin twister, set some cards, during your draw phase, flip up the vanity to emptiness. Like what the fuck do you do? Now I'm water I'm water, I must say, is one of my worst matchups because they just have natural outs to my deck. Oh, he just timed out. He's like, fuck it, you know, I can't, I can't do anything. He's, you know, he's fucking one-upping me. He's got his active to the monsters that's going down, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the stun is too real. So we'll go ahead and get another duel. All right, got another duel. Like I said, this deck runs a lot of back row. So if I, if he saw, if they summon like a Denko Seca or fucking blow in my back row, even Twin Choice is not too many. Uh, you think I would have it. They just have so many outs, you know? It's like... They naturally play the Dark Hole Norgeki so they can out my barrier statue. They naturally play the fucking Goblin Seal so they can out my fucking, um, uh, my Magic Specters with the Moon Mirror Shield. They can just tribute over it, right? Uh, they, they naturally, uh, can handle my, uh, uh, my, my, like, my, my effects and my Moon Mirror Shield by just summoning up the best, sending, like, a infantry of marksmen, pop set, pop face up, you know? Uh, probably more uh, more uh, infantry because they you know they can pop my moon mirror shield, they can pop my barrier statue, even though despite the fact you're not special summoning, you know. Oh, this hand's not that great. <laughs> uh, so I guess I'll just go ahead and set set. I'll probably set the item minus as bait, but not the greatest of hands. Through the drowning when I already have a monster. Uh, so you're only 800, so you're not even that strong. But at least I got regular mirror force. It's just kind of wish I had like solemn brigade or something like that. Like you know, I. It's more of a test, if anything, it really is. Oh, oh, oh. Like, nothing good comes from Silver Decket. 
like ABCs, I'm guessing. Oh, Ancient Gears. You know? And then Call Traps. They have Call Traps. I can't play any more Traps this turn. That's fine. You know? and then you can like, go into like, a Castell Spin back my Choco Magician Girl or something like that. Now you're going to go into the Gear Giant. All right. And the sad thing is he could just attack over. But at least I can summon my Magician Girl and protect. So I can summon back Lemon and Lemon will take the brunt of it. But... So you gotta call traps, make sure they can't do anything, because they're not doing anything. Like, okay. It's only when it's a the card's an attack or it's an attack on turn, this card is targeted for an attack, so. I'll just go ahead and activate Pilot Duality. If I reveal Dark Magician Girl, that'd be great. Another Choco, Dark Magician Girl. It's tough. That's tough. I think I might go for the card of demise, because it's just straight up plus. Yeah. Pitching Dark Magician Girl would be great too, because then if he comes after me, then I can fuck him up, you know, because I'll there's some Dark Magician Girl and then he he there's no way he's gonna be Dark Magician Girl, you know. Driving Mirror Force Circle, I to my S turn Dark Magician Girl into that. At least Dark Magician Girl is guaranteed. A card of my, you know, I can draw into more back row, but they really won't do anything unless I get Dark Magician Girl involved in this duel. So go ahead and picture it. I'm running two Dark Magician Girls because of, uh, you know, Dark Magic Circle and all that shit. Or he has Solemn Strike. Yep, or he has Solemn Strike, so rip on that. Where are my Solemn Strikes? You know, where, where are my Solemn Strikes? Like, I really needed that play, and he just fucked me up real good. Ah, uh, Psalm Strike is such a ridiculous card. Like, that card cannot stay at 3. Not. It cannot stay at 3. It's so stupid that it's at 3. It's like, it can stop any monster effect in any Inherent Summon for 15. Like, come on. Uh, so, he had Natural Outs. Like, I, I did that play. I, you know, couldn't match play, bam, 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 bam. He, he, he's just like, draw. Fucking play, um, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, this deck can easily beat my ass. Like, like, Fucking ancient gear, whatever, can easily be my ass. You stun me with the fucking uh, this. This has, uh, you know, your big monsters uh, stop spells and traps, and I have a whole bunch of mirror forces. Like, you could easily just destroy me. Destroy me with ease. Uh, he just, just drew, and he was like, Typhoon. Typhoon, my other side card, which is the Psalm Strike, blew that up, which blew up my Vanny's emptiness, and then he just went off, you know. He, he got rid of, he could run over Magic Spectre, he could pop my, uh, my shit. Like, it was just, it was just over, you know. It was just, it was just over. Wow, he actually st plays uh, Rhapsody and Berserk. Like, who the fuck still plays Rhapsody? You know? Who the fuck still plays Rhapsody? This guy, apparently. Like, I, I haven't seen Rhapsody being played in a cool minute. But I guess if you got the toolbox, you got the toolbox, right? You know? So you can go ahead and equip that to that. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just gonna mirror force you. No. I gotta stall. I gotta, that's a stall. I'm out resource too because it keeps plussing and searching every turn. Ah, I got Barry. That's nice. So Barry can go ahead and get me a search unless I get catch another solemn strike, which he might have. Yes, he does. So stupid. So stupid that strike is at three. So fucking retarded. Go ahead. Fucking strike, man. Wow. Uh, strike. Strike. Should get hit. hit. It's so dumb. So dumb. So dumb. So dumb. I'm playing a stun deck. So dumb. So dumb, and I'm playing a, sh and that's the sad thing, and I'm playing a stun deck, and that fucking shit's still stupid, because it just answers everything. Like, there's no way that you're not going to, A, activate a monster effect, or B, do an inherent summon. You're just going to get fucked up, you know? So dumb. Especially, yeah, that's the game, that's the game, that's the game. We'll get another duel. I might have had something, I might have been okay, if he didn't have two solemn strikes. Like, I was thinking, he's like, he solemn strike and he sent another card, I'm like, that's probably another solemn strike. Like, alright, get another duel, bear back. So, he outed me, he outed me, he gave me game three. Game three was like the, one of the closest games I've ever had. Like it was ridiculously close, I must say. Uh, by the time in duel, we went into time. Wow, he he fucking upstar draw a card and then quit. Like all right, all right. And this goose over the hands actually really good too. All right, we're gonna duel. All right, another duel. Uh, I will go first because I'm ready to card in my deck. Wow, sure drew a lot of fucking uh, monsters. Like, there's only like I'd say like eleven monsters in here. Like just trying to figure out the ratio of shit. So. I'll, I'll go ahead and pitch a Choco to draw. Alright, do into Duality, which can hopefully reveal me some background. Like, give me a trap. <laughs> no. I dropped it to Tamias to two, and psh, there goes Tamias, right? <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and set you, we'll set you, and then at least I'll get to draw two cards. So, even then, it's kind of like a pot of greed if I can save both these cards, which I can. So, that's a pot of greed right there. Like, some people are saying that don't activate card demise unless you absolutely cannot, you know, draw into the three, but I'm just, I'm like, no, nah, no. Nah. Because even then, I still got a pot of greed out of it. And I drew, I played one card, drew two, and saved those two. I got a pot of greed, so that's nice, that's nice. 
Uh, game three, we went into time. And by turn five time, I was at 11. He was at 18, so all he had to do was end, so he got the win. But he had no outs to my plays. Like, I was getting it in. I was trying to do as much damage as I could, but I couldn't set up my pendulum scales to, you know, hit him with all that good, good. Uh, and he had no cards left in his deck. He, he played uh, Desire, so he banished and drew. He had no cards left in his deck. If he would have played, you're just going to summon one. Like, if you're just going to summon one, I'm going to be like, that's fine. You know? Especially in defense mode. Like, that's not even a threat. You know? You can have that. That's not even what I'm mad at. But I'll just summon him in defense mode. Oh, another back row card. So I guess that's fine. Really, I just need to get Dark Magician Girl up in here. But I, to my aren't doing too hot either. Like, I keep drawing them. Like, like the monster's really strong. I might end up taking out the Eye to my to tell you the truth. Like, I really want to go ahead and do that play, but it's not the greatest. It really isn't. Skull Curvent Joker. Oh, that's fine. So whatever you search for, whatever, I don't really care about, you know. I, I would like to get a ma uh, get you on a mass pendulum. I'm like, I'm drowning and quaking, so. That's, those are two good mere forces. <laughs> Say, drowning would be a little bit better than the quaking, because the mass summoning, I mean, the, the attacking. <sighs> so, all he had to do was turn five in, but he had no cards left in his deck. I had a dark bribe, he had spell cards, and if he activated anything, I would have made him draw. He would have gained himself, because he couldn't draw any more cards in his deck. Uh, all I need to do is just get 700 more. Like, I was just so close. It should have been my win, but time fucked me, you know? And that's one of the biggest complaints with my deck and the things that I'm definitely going to go back to the drawing board with is that I need to get more damage in. Like, I just, like, I couldn't get my damage in, you know? Uh, I mean, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Like, I twice is cute and all, and I want to do the Dark Magician plays, but it just doesn't really do anything, especially when he's not coming after me. Like... If he attacks me, and it sucks that it's like, oh, I can only summon when I attack, you know? He's like, he's taking it really passively, and I'm, I can't really do anything. <laughs> like, kind of wish I could go after him, that I can use my effect, but it's only when this card is targeted for an attack, not, you know, when it attacks, so, rip. Just so passive, so passive right now. God, he's just, he's just fucking Sacred Sword and drawing up a storm with his Magician Odd Eyes. Buster Blader deck. Okay, so you can search for a Buster Blader card. I'm just kind of, no, that's okay. I'm just waiting for him to like, do something, like a mass play. So definitely to do that, increase my damage output. So that's one of the things I'm gonna talk about the deck and then, you know, the monster count, you know. I need to figure that ratio out as well. Is it someone from your hand or deck? Oh, it's hand or great. It's hand or great. That was just great. Nope, it's from the hand too. And what did he search for? I think he searched for his trap card. No, he searched for the spell card. Okay. I said I got some in the morning, so. Okay, so there's Busted Blade. I think I'll just bottomless him. No, just get him out of here. Oh, he can fuse. He can fuse right now. He can fuse in Destruction Sword. Hmm, I could stop that, but he could just grab it right back, you know? No, that's okay. I got mirror forces. I was like, I was like, oh, he can't, he confused with his own dragon. He confused with the odd dragon. Save his bunch of layers ass. Like, as long as he's not synchroing and turning my shit into, uh, into dragons, then I really don't care. This deck is just so passive, like... I wish I could really get it in. I could, I'm thinking maybe I should just tribute a dark for tribute summon for Dark Mission Girl. Time to think of that. I could do my time my ass and start pitching cards every turn. <laughs> just not drawing to my like revival cards. Like I don't know. I don't know. I I to my ass isn't doing too hot. No. That's not a threat. Okay. Okay. Now when you synchro summon into your fucking synchro monster, then no. Because then you'll turn my shit all into dragons, and I'm not about that life. No. Not that. I don't care about anything else you have. You really haven't even been pendulum summoning, you know? 
And if you mass punch them something right now, I really don't care anyway. I got like mirror forces and shit. So and if you Yeah, look how look how passively we're just sitting here doing nothing. <laughs> So easy, during the player's turn, he could discard the card, magic, magic, critical control, blah, 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 and on your toe. So, I believe I could probably fuck him up, but I'm just not 100% sure. Like, I just needed some revival on this bitch, you know? Especially since he's not coming after me. I can add Magician Girls, that's fine, but it doesn't really do anything. I guess I'll go grab lemon and pitch lemon with uh, choco or chocolate. I, the premise of the deck is working fine. I just need to go back to the drawing board. All right, you got magician circles. So that's cool. No, but you're not really going to be doing anything or getting it in. So you already know I got fucking mirror forces out the ass. I got quaking, drowning, and regular mirror force. Like, come on, come at me, bro. Hack me. <laughs> The only thing that sucks is the whole Magician of Circles thing. Oh, and, then he can, and the fact that he can stick around some of these Armadies kind of sucks too. Because all I have is fucking Mirror Forces and shit. I can get me some strikes in this duel with a rip. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to split this up into two parts. Split this up into two parts. I'll probably use 10 of these one thing. So he got me. He got me. Uh, so now I'm X and 1. X and 1. 1 1. Uh, oh, he's just going to go into it anyway. Like, alright. That's fine. I'm not to hit you with that good mirror force, cause you you got another Buster Blader. Oh yeah, cause it counts as Buster Blader, so you can search for it. Yep. So I'll synchro summon into that dragon again. Yep. I wanted to kind of stop you, but rip. <laughs> My effects are negated. He's 2,800. Like I'm just I'm just asking for it, right? And so I'll hit you with the I'm gonna hit you with the OG OG mirror force. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, nah. <laughs> you can still pendulum something though. And then that, that's pretty that's pretty powerful. He still has his pendulum skills. But he's not, he's not. Okay. I'll get caught in mines. I might be end up pitching that for Shin Girl. So I can attack. So I can attack, activate Magician Circle, to summon Dark Magician Girl from my hand. I mean from my deck, so that's nice. You can upgrade the eye to Mayas and then you know, Pop that, that wouldn't be terrible. I think I might do that. I, think I might do that. Just attack, take the damage, and then summon. Uh... Does he have spellcasters? It's monster spellcasters? No, they're dragons. Unless he runs like a Fact Veil or something, or Sage. Then then he would have to summon. Which he might, he might, he might be running uh, uh, that. Okay. Is there something that's something from special summoning? Because I have Dark Magician Girl on my deck. I couldn't even activate this. Spellcaster Monster. Oh, I'm a dragon. I'm a dragon. I forgot about that. Oh, that was my misplay. Definitely. That was definitely my misplay. Oh, I was like, I was like, I was like, I'm a spellcaster. Like, no, you're not. Like. You do right, do right, do right. I am not a spellcaster. Uh, duality. Can I get a song strike? No, but I can get something that I don't want. I always end up saving the call of the haunted, so I guess I'll grab the duality and just end up pitching it. I have a normal summon this turn, so I can normal summon Barry, and then Barry can get me to search, so. At least that's Dex setting. Uh, I guess I'll get Apple. My Kiwi will be extra super strong. Like, that, that was my misplay. Activate you, pitch you, draw a card, drew into another mirror force, so I guess that's okay, but kind of want the call of the haunted. The only thing that sucks is that I'm be pitching my hand with card demise, so kind of like, like, I might drop itemize down to one, because it doesn't seem like I need too many itemizes. I, 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 it's like a two is a fine number, but one. Even if I number generate it, I just set it, you know, but I really don't need to bust out one of the amulet dragon. I'm not getting any of my song strikes. Like that's what really sucks. Uh, so now I'm one and one. Uh, game three, I go up against a blue eyes PK. I mean blue eyes burning abyss. Like okay, okay. 
Uh, game one, I get him. Like, I just lock him out of playing Yu Gi Oh! Blue Eyes. Easy win. And Burning Abyss, easy win. You know, easy, easy win. I end up banishing like two of his Dantes and striking other ones. So he just he just has like no Dantes, you know? Because he's got to put back Dantes. He ends up having like no Dantes. And then Mirror Shield blocking my special summoning with a bear statue. Like, it, it, you know, it was, it was just over. You know, it was just, it was just absolutely over. Um,. So I got called the hunted, so I can call the hunted. Next turn I can call the hunted. Just sucks that he has sky hours now, you know? Because I would like to crack his pendulum scales, but you already know. You already know. Like maybe he'll he'll get fresh and he'll pendulum summon his monsters and then I can hit him with a quaking, but it kinda sucks when you get like no solemn, so. I mean my defenses are pretty impenetrable. Pretty impenetrable, especially since I'm up on resources, but Do I even run any pendulum I mean level one? Monsters, so he's gonna, he's gonna break his own scales to get a search. Okay. Uh, do I have any ones? Oh, there's a two. Okay, I still got took the extra deck because changing it from the card demise variant uh, to the card demise variant, I cut a lot of monsters, which means I don't have a lot of monsters to play. That sky is kind of sucks. <laughs> Go ahead and summon back another Buster Blader. Maybe a rank 7 play? Yep, rank 7 play. Draco Saki. Really need to get rid of this amulet. I mean, this Buster Dragon. Like, this Buster Dragon's getting on my nerves, making all my shit dragons. Wow, Draco Saki. I don't see him that often anymore. That's fine. So you're just gonna pop one of my random back rows or something? Random back row, sure. Dude, I got I got back row for days, so that does nothing to me. <laughs> yep, that's fine. I can handle the Draco sack. Like, I can summon the amulet. And summon Dark Magician Girl, turn it into Amulet, pitch the card that I drew, pop this, attack, attack, summon Dark Magic Circle, like, you know. What did he search for during the end phase? I didn't even see what he searched for. Wisdom Eye, yep. Yep, end up pitching, them, end up pitching that Mirror Force. Oh, I do have something. Oh, Princess. Alright. Uh, I mean, I guess it's better than keeping these two here, because there's no way they're going to do anything, so I guess that's not terrible. The Lactar right Call of the Haunted. Demon Dark Magician Girl, I to Myas, turn her into, turn her into Amulet Dragon. This sucks I don't have any more cards in my hand to pitch. But I might, might, because, uh, what's it called? My Princess. Uh, uh Spell Trap, so Spell Trap, I get to add to my hand. That's cool. That's cool. So. That might be better. Uh, please let me get a Spell Trap, so I can interrupt his plays next turn. Cool, cool. So, obviously, I can pitch that with a uh, with amulet. Eat that, pop that. Enter battle, tackle the token, tack, tack. So, so, we are we are good. You kill you. See, it's like it's like you take it slow, you take it passive until you know it's it's time to go in. So, oh shit, I should activate a magician circle. No, I can activate. It. I forgot that she's a dragon, not a uh, a. Uh, What's it called? A uh, spellcaster. That she was a spellcaster. This is a plant, so nope, nope. I messed up. Should I activate the mission circle so I'm in my dark mission girl? But that's fine. I could hold on to this. The drownings, the drownings, they were good, really great last duel. And now, you know, when I have monsters on the field, but I guess it's contingency, it's protection. Uh, game two, he, he, he pretty much gets everything. Uh, I end up cheering his, uh, his Dante but he still has like a lot. I guess I can go ahead and pitch and pop this. That way you have no targets. No, because I can't target your pendulum scale. To target your, uh... no, if you want to crack your pendulum scale, I really don't care. Just fucking Skyers is going to get annoying. He really wants to pop that because then he could probably set up his magician plays and do stuff like that. I'm just going to pitch and pop the Skyers. Like that, that can get out of here. Because I'm hoping that maybe you won't be able to put, 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 put scales. You probably will, actually. Now that I think about it, because you still have your 
a wisdom line. So a wisdom line can set up the pendulum scales and you can pendulum something between eight and four, which should be at least be these two, you know? Oh, it's five, five. I mean, same thing. You still pendulum some of these two and your buster blader or whatever. So he's still good. And then this can grab something back, so. It's a pendulum mechanic. It's a pendulum mechanic I'm struggling with. You know, it's kind of hard to out-resource him when he has renewable resources, scales, and all that shit, so. Oh, and then he could fuse with my fucking uh, Magician Girl Dragon, because she's a dragon, so that sucks. Or not, or not. I kind of thought he would do it. Oh, no, he doesn't have Buster Blair. He doesn't Buster Blair. Yep. So when Princess is dead, I'll take that. Like whatever I draw, I can at least pitch and then pop. It's crack his scales at least. So at least I can kill this. If I can kill this too, but I don't think I can. The Dark Magician Girl that I summon won't even be strong enough, so. That would be a great time to have, what's her name? Uh, Kiwi. <laughs> if I would do Kiwi, that would have been nice. I'm not gonna set the quaking. Drowning, drowning mirror force isn't too hot right now because I actually have monsters on the field. And then I could crack his scales. Like, really, I just need to draw more cards. So, who's the biggest threat right now? It's like not neither one of the other. See, definitely the allies is the biggest threat. So, I want to kill the allies and then crack his scales so he can't pendle on someone. You're not really a threat. Now this is, this could be like a rank seven play. That could be like a big eye or something. So that would be bad. <laughs> Do you have some kind of pendulum effect or something like that? Oh, okay. Uh, the face up pendulum odd eyes monster pendulum is destroyed by battle by card effect. You can target one card in your pendulum zone if you do plus one eye. So okay, okay, I guess there's nothing. Uh, uh, I guess I'll go to main phase two. I guess I'll just crack his scales now. I was thinking about holding off, but let's crack that. Go ahead. And if he can set up his pendulum scales again, then rip on me, I guess, because then he will be able to go into a big eye. It's like I haven't seen Solemn Strike all fucking duel. Ah, broken ass pendulum call. Never mind. It's about time. He only has a 50 cards in, 15 cards in the day. I haven't seen a strike all fucking duel. That's what really sucks about this duel. He played the wrong scale? Wow, he played the wrong scale. Wow. Wow, good job, good job. Played the wrong fucking scale. You know, this this, this video is over. Let me finish talking. Uh, game game two, he just has everything. He outs me. He, uh, I, I call, I do cherries that call Dante, but then I don't draw into any monsters. Oh, that would be a recurring thing with discussing this. I don't draw any monsters and he just games me with blue eyes, right? Game three was probably the most hilarious fucking shit I've ever seen. So, I go first, I summon my Wind Bear statue, Quibbin Moon Mirror, you know, all that fucking jazz, right? He can't spatch a summon, I always be stronger than him. He's like, fuck, you know? He draws, he has this evil ass keckle. I'm like, okay, you won't believe this, you won't believe this. I, I fucking cocked my head back, everybody lost their shit, everybody laughed. Special summon the Wind Kaiju? Who the fuck plays the Wind Kaiju, motherfucker? This guy does, and he summoned it over my barrier statue, but, um,. You know, he used up a lot of resources. Uh, um, he ended up, he was like, uh, activate uh, Melody Pitch on my like, Dark Bribe. So he drew a card, but he didn't draw into when his Blue Eyes plays were right? right? Um, he's like, Stone during Man Face, strike that. You know, you're not getting the fucking, you know, you're not doing that. And uh, then I just like, summoned a Magic Spectre, uh, quit it with the Moon Mirror Shield, searched. Uh, and then I just started going in and he's just like, I scoop, you know, so. Uh, despite outing my, my barrier statue by spell, especially I'm in the wind kaiju, I still ended up getting it, so I went to one. Uh, and then game four, match four, I faced against... Skill is trash, I actually faced up against Light Swords. So, uh, I tried to stall him, I tried to stop him, but in the end, he ended up busting out JD, wiping my back row. My magic specters didn't die, but he just tacked over, uh, attacked my, uh, cause he, he like, he like, he like break through skill because he milled a whole bunch, so he break through skill of my barrier statue, so he could special summon. Galaxy the Cyclone, my Moon Mirror Shield, so that was gone. Uh, summon JD, wiped everything. My ma my Mad Spectre didn't die, but by that time I paid too much life points and he just attacked. Uh, game two, uh, I was winning. 
and it actually got to the point where he could do like nothing, but he happened to tribute three of my Magic Spectre monsters to summon the fucking Sphere Mode. Like, who the fuck summons Sphere Mode? Who's playing Sphere Mode, right? At 100 life points left, and stall out until we pretty much got to time. I didn't have any outs, because I, I was like, I'll take it slow, so I ended up, for more cherry targets, I ended up taking out like all my attack directly, attack directly, and everything that I had to extra decks uh, targeted, so I couldn't do anything to this fucking Sphere Mode. So he stalled out. We went into time in game three, which means that we got a draw. So uh, now I'm X one and one. So uh, I will go ahead and continue this in on Wednesday. Uh, speak about the last four, and then you know, I'm, like I said, uh, it's Magic Spectre Thunderbinds. I'm still tweaking it. I'm gonna take it, but I'm not gonna do deck profile because I don't want to give too much away, especially since we'll see it. Plus, it won't be the same, so you know, it's kind of obsolete. I'm already working on two point out. So, and I'm going to take it to Utah Originals, which, like I said, ABCs will be out by then, so I have to prepare for that. But I feel like I can possibly do something with it, because it, was, it, it worked really well. Like, the Moon Mirror Shows were working fantastically to stun the you know, special summon in the back row, so, you know, I'll be preparing. And if I can learn something more through, you know, playing, like, a demise deck like this, you know, because I'm thinking, like, Mir regular Mirror Force is looking pretty good, because Quaking is like, I put your monsters down, but then I still got to handle them. So Quaking's really good, but I still got to handle them. So as long as I can handle them, then that's fine. Then I say Quaking's the best, because then it doesn't destroy, doesn't target, doesn't do that. Um, regular mirror force is doing okay with me, you know, it's site that destroys, at least you're losing your resources. Drowning, drowning, uh, sometimes I have monsters, you know, and when I have monsters, like, in this situation where I have monsters now, it does nothing for me, you know. Uh, now, if I lose these monsters and I hit you with drowning, awesome, but, you know, especially when I'm playing, like, you know, my barrier statues and stuff like that, I'd rather keep my barrier statues, so I probably won't be playing drowning, so. I, just, I need to tweak the deck, work on it, and run it back in Utah, and hopefully get my invite then, hopefully. Anyway. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed Subsidy Daily Duel. So like I said, I need to tweak this deck as well and learn more about the demise before I just run in with it, uh, balls, going balls in. So I hope you guys enjoyed Subsidy Daily Duels. I will be back tomorrow tagging, playing Heretics. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and see you guys uh, tomorrow. Thanks for watching.